Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome. Today, I'm here to share with you a success story among many in the making about an achievement that is so big, so revolutionary in tackling one of the industry's most toughest, challenging problems. Something that some of you might consider to be the moonshot. Something that we've been working on here in Oman, something that is pushing the boundaries of what is possible that can be done here by local companies in Oman. But before diving into what is that problem that we're tackling, what is it that we're solving? First of all, let me introduce you to Bayanat, our company. At Bayanat, we're a data analytics company. We're focusing on improving operations across the telecom sector, in addition to other sectors, mainly the both telecom and the energy. Now, what we're doing over here in this presentation, I'm focusing on what we have done in the telecom sector. We've been developing a solution, a product to a problem. That solution implements advanced analytics. I'll be speaking about big data in unprecedented magnitude of what we're dealing with, how the next generation of visualization has been used in what we're doing. So what is that problem that we're solving? The problem we're solving is called network degradation. Network degradation is basically any fault or an error that can happen in software or hardware in a network, in a telecom network. Now, this degradation spreads in a network similar to how a disease spreads. Once a cell site, a tower that is affected, it spreads to the neighboring towers. Now, if we look at what is the main driver for someone to move on from one operator to the other, if you try to take a guess, that knows the top most driver in someone switching from one operator to the other. It's not price, it's not customer support. Rather, it's the quality of experience that is driven by the quality of service. Now, this kind of problem is so big, it's so challenging, that it has lots of ramifications. First of all, the growing number in the use of mobile phones, the mobile network. This is putting huge, tremendous pressure on the infrastructure. The increase in use, the exponential growth in mobile broadband. Everyone nowadays is requiring high traffic, high bandwidth internet. All of this is increasing the pressure that we're having on the telecom infrastructure. On top of that, having a third key player over here in Oman, making the competition much more Fierce. Now, all of this is contributing to that. I need to maintain a better quality of experience for my clients. Now, on top of all of this, any corrective measure that is needed to be done to fix or deal with such network degradation requires still a lot of human intervention. There is still a lot of manual work to be done, and all of this making the process susceptible to much more errors than it's already having. So, we've seen how big this problem is. Now, how big is the kind of data we're dealing with? We're talking about a telecom sector. We're talking about monitoring cell sites. We're talking about monitoring thousands of cell sites across the Sultanate. Each cell site is having different kind of devices for different kind of technologies, 2G, 3G, 4G, and 5G. Now, each one of these technologies is having sub-bands. For example, if we consider the 5G, you're monitoring 18 devices for 18 different bands. Now, we having, we're talking about thousands of cell sites, hundreds of thousands of these cells. On top of all of this, there is only one part of it. We're monitoring the KPIs for the quality of service, the quality of experience for more than 2 million subscribers. 
I hope that this is giving you the kind of big data we're dealing with. The KPIs we're sp speaking about, something like network congestion, throughput, bandwidth, and many more, among many others. Now, this problem is not only big, it's challenging. We're talking about companies like Huawei, Ericsson, Nokia, Simmons. We've already integrated our platform with all of these devices and systems. And as well, they are considered to be competitors in this market, a key players in this market. Now, network degradation is not an easy problem to detect. First of all, a telecom company might not be able to detect a degradation until, for example, a year passes and they notice that, oh, we've had some drop in revenue in this region. In another case, it only happens when they receive complaints from a specific area, okay, we are having a bad uh, coverage in that area. So it's not an easy problem to notice. It's hard to detect. On top of that, it's hard to deal with because of the size of the data we're talking about. That kind of data that we're talking about, it's data that is flowing continuously every second from thousands of cell sites, hundreds of thousands of devices, millions of subscribers. That's how big this data that we're dealing with. Now, what did we do to work on this? We developed a data analytics platform that merges, visualizes all of this data, analyzes it. This platform is like a culmination of all the master databases for all the devices, the network devices within, for example, we're dealing with Ramantel right now. And this is where, how the platform looks like. It visualizes the data. It provides actionable insights to where is this degradation is happening. Not only that, when we visualize this, we're giving it a priority score, which cell site that is actually the root cause of this degradation, which one that is actually affecting the other sites. All of this, all of this analysis is happening in a time frame from five to 15 minutes, depending on the kind of analysis we're doing and the parameter we're dealing with. Now, the telecom operators don't need to wait for someone to call and complain. They don't need to wait for a year to end, so they can tell, yeah, there is some drop in revenue in that area. So this is what we have developed. It's an ongoing project, a big one. Now, the value that we're seeking out of this for a telecom operator, they will gain a deep understanding of the network, the performance of the network, how is the network behaving, how is the network parameters change according to how different loads in a network in an area changing? For example, if there's an event, whether it's some uh, consortium happening, an event in a certain location like Kharif Dufar, Masqat Eats was recently happening. If there's a natural disaster that is happening, all of this, we're monitoring all of this. We can tell how is the network behaving. When they have this kind of access to such actionable insights in a timely manner, they can make time-sensitive and high-impact decisions. On all of that, when they understand where are the weaknesses in a network, this can guide them to make better investments to where they should strengthen their own network. Now, how do we get that value. When we work in such niche and very specific domains, we as Bayanat, we are the experts when it comes to big data, analytics, machine learning, visualization, how we can provide value, value out of that. However, it's a crucial part that we work and collaborate with domain experts. If we're working in the energy sector, we would like to work with a domain expert. If we're working in the telecom sector, definitely we want to work with a domain expert. They're the ones who are having the knowledge of what KPIs matter. They're the ones who know how does this translate to performance of the company, of the telecom operator. And that's why it's crucial in the kind of projects we're working with, 
It's always a collaboration between us and the domain experts of that. This is our journey with Oman Tell. Definitely, we're looking forward to more success stories and the way we work to achieve these achievements, success stories, is that we first start by having an executive alignment at the organization to see what is the value that they're seeking of to make out of this. We always don't want to say that preaching the buzzwords, the advanced analytics, machine learning, no. We first need to understand what is the alignment, what is the value that we're seeking out of this, and how can we put the technology, the knowledge, the expertise that we're having into achieving that value. Everyone, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attentive listening. I wish that we can all work together and let's have our success journey together. Thank you.